assistance. And of course, if you can, use stimulus checks and unemployment funds. All of these resources, something renters really need right now. I think there is great concern about May, just as there was um, in April. According to Michelle Ling with the Colorado Apartment Association, the month of April brought a slight uptick in the number of people unable to pay rent. In April, approximately 1.8% additional people did not pay their rent. Um, in Colorado, that translates to over 90% of people who did pay their rent. While she says it speaks well to the strength of Colorado's economy, will it be the same for May? Ling says it's hard to project. There have been some workers who actually are doing better than they were employed under unemployment. But her guess that we will see more people struggling to pay rent. Now we've gone two months without a paycheck, potentially. There are some who have not been able to get their stimulus funds plus their unemployment uh, due to a variety of factors. Thankfully for Jesus Rivera Cruz, he did receive his stimulus check. The stimulus check definitely did help a lot. With the start date of his new job being postponed, he hasn't been able to work in over a month and his wife is furloughed. We paid up our rent up until July. Um, paid up our bills. What we're hoping is that that was enough to kind of get us through, you know, the crisis basically. Besides talking to your landlord, there are state and